Morning. Morning. Very early. I think it's 4.51. Parked um, near a pub in um, Wilden near Stairport. I walk today through Stairport all the way down to Worcester and catch a train back to Kidderminster and then walk back down to Stairport. So it's in two sections today. 4.51? Yes, I know. I'm to catch, as you can see. The sun's not awake yet, so I want to catch the sun rise and also today's going to be very hot so it's quite Camino-esque which is quite fitting really because uh, in less than two weeks I'll be back on the Camino and I'm taking Lily with me this time Lily's my 12 year old daughter she's shown interest for doing that for some time now and um, I've got to try and get it in before she gets to that teenage years of I'm not going with my parents so yeah looking forward to that so looking forward to see some wildlife at this time in the morning obviously with me talking I won't see much so yeah interesting day out today walk along the seven so yeah just in a bit just coming into starport coming down to the river seven the mist. Oh, I love this time in the morning. I didn't know I was in England. I think that was a scenery from Huckleberry <laughs> Finn. <laughs> oh, what do you think? up a bit. It's only 6.06. I'm already cooking. It's mad. 
Shorts were they great idea? Kind of halfway. Arrived at the River Seven. Um, well, I walked along the River Seven. I arrived at uh, Holt Fleet. Holt Fleet. This is um, a bridge at halfway position. I just going around, turn around. There's the pub, pub the whole fleet. That's the direction I've came from. And that's the Worcester, that's where I'm going. So yeah, it's flipping up now, I tell you. The view from the pub. Yeah, I've never eaten here, so I can't say anything about the food, quality, service, or anything, prices. But as you can agree, it might be a good place to try. You can get in, don't forget a book, don't forget to book. Stats so far show that we've done 13 kilometers. Um, yeah, it's been good so far. It's been wet on the feet. I've had to change my socks. They were soaked through. I had to wring them out. But yeah, it's been good. You know, and sometimes you make bad decisions. Sorry, you make bad decisions. <laughs> I don't yet. I don't yet that sandwich to stop uh, at that stop. Probably about 20 30 minutes ago, I did decided to stop here for breakfast again. <sighs> I'm glad I did. Breaking out the tissues in the bushes wouldn't have been a good idea. Oh, so thankful for the toilet. Grimley Church, very pretty, pretty little village actually. Back along the river, this should be around about five to six miles left to walk into Worcester. It's now 10 o'clock um, and the heat 24 I think it's quite warm um, but yeah glorious day
can just see through there the race course. It's one of the reasons why some of these houses are on stilts, look. Because of the flooding, they're all on stilts. Final destination of today, Worcester May. Just getting a train back to Kidderminster. It's hot out in there. Then I've it's got to go out. and walk back from the train station to the car. So yeah, we're in good time. It's now only five to one. I've even been shopping. Little miscalculation. It's two o'clock, or well, ten past two now. I've just left Kidderminster, walking back to the car. But the car is much further than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's about four miles away. <laughs> it's going to take me about two hours, an hour and a half, maybe six miles away. I don't know. Going to use these maps to calculate distances. And my wife keeps telling me, You said it was only going to be two miles. Yeah, well, it is what it is. End in sight, uh, the Birdie Hand pub, which is where I started at half four, quarter to five this morning. Um, in fact, this is the pub. Just got to walk through the pub garden now and back to the car. I'll just show you. There's the pub. So yeah, mad day. It's now, I'm gonna have a look at the time, excuse me. Have a look at the time. Three o'clock. So that's 10 hours and 25 minutes. I must be mental. 